Blocking is quite an advanced technique on floor, which will help you to greatly increase the height of both your front and back somersaults without even changing your run-up speed or leg strength. This added height will allow you to progress more easily to more difficult variations such as twists and doubles. Before worrying about this technique, you should be able to land front and back somersaults on floor comfortably and consistently. To demonstrate the effect of the blocking technique, I'm about to show you two front somersaults and two round-off back somersaults. Each one will have the same run-up and the same amount of power. However, in the first example, I'll use the blocking technique, and in the second, I will just take off normally. See if you can notice anything I'm doing differently to improve the height in the first clip of each skill. Blocking is essentially the process of converting the speed gained in your run-up into vertical lift, or height. You will hopefully have noticed that as well as greater height in the blocking clips, there was also a lot less horizontal distance, because relatively more force was converted upwards rather than continued in the direction of the run-up. Blocking is all to do with the angle of your takeoff. Being stood straight up in your takeoff, as some of you may have been taught to do in the past, is not actually quite enough. Starting stood straight up will cause a small lean into the somersault by the time you have actually left the floor. In order to get a true vertical takeoff, you need to be leant slightly away from the somersault direction as you jump. Watch the blocking clips again in slow motion and notice how in the front somersault I take off leant slightly backwards and in the back somersault I take off leaning slightly forwards. As you run into a front somersault, aim to make your final hop from one foot to two feet as long and as low as possible so that you finish with your feet out in front of your body. It is a common mistake to do a high jump from one foot to two feet but this allows the floor to absorb much more of your power and makes it much more difficult to create a good blocking angle. Make sure you also take off with your arms right back above your head and your eyes focused on something head height or higher in front of you, as all of these things will help to put you into the desired leant back position. Practice this technique with a simple rebound jump first and then work it back into your punch front when you can do a rebound which is both high and short. In round off back somersault, similarly, the round off needs to be long and low so that you land with your feet as far away from your hands as possible. You shouldn't snap your feet down like you would as if you were going into a flick, as this will cause you to lean backwards and ruin the blocking angle. This time, as you land, your vision should be quite low and your hands held out in front of you instead of being up by your ears. These things will make sure that you take off from the desired length forwards position. Again, just practice a simple round off first making sure that your rebound jump is short and high before working the technique back into the somersault. Slowing down your run up a little should help with getting used to the blocking technique at first, but once you fully understand how to do it, you should be able to do it from a full speed run up, giving you more energy to convert upwards and producing somersaults of impressive height. Once you understand the basics, you can start working a strong block into other links such as round off flick back and handspring front. It doesn't really matter what setup you do, as long as the move preceding the final somersault puts you into the correct takeoff position. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. If you did, be sure to like it, favourite it, and share it with anyone else who you think might find it helpful. For more regular updates, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, and for even more videos and updates, make sure that you like my Facebook page and subscribe to my training YouTube channel. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, please leave them below and I'll make sure that I get back to you. Thank you, hopefully see you again soon.